next we're going to talk about here which is something that I think is legitimately if ever there was something that I feel like would encapsulate 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 what how a shitty a company is i think this will be an example of it right in terms of how they treat people in terms of how they run their business in general in terms of just how they operate it's just you know they're just fucking shitty it's just is what it is isn't it people just kind of grin and bear it because you know they do they provide a decent service but in terms of how they work on the back end we've had too many reports of people who get demonetized and taken off of that thing that you know what they're about and i'm talking about twitch so twitch having a twitch con at the moment you know what twitch con is youtube have one youtube is not an official one but everyone has those type of things those conventions where you essentially go to meet your favorite fucking um creator on that platform you get to take some pictures to do some games giveaways all that good stuff they might show you some new development stuff there might be some other brands in there showing some cool gadgets it's an all-on convention full of other dorks and geeks just like yourself who want to go and meet these people in real life celebrate have a good time and chill right it makes a lot of sense um and i guess a lot of the big streamers on there are appearing on their partnerships wherever it may be drawing people in and having a good time and one of them a lady called adriana chechik who i have no idea who she is because i don't really watch twitch streamers like that to be honest but looks like they're having a whale of a time as you can see here on the screen they're in a foam pit jumping around maybe they were doing that kind of gladiator thing where one person stands on one podium one person on the other podium and you kind of fight and see you can fall down first i guess she must have won because she's the only one left standing and then she proceeds to jump into the pit to kind of celebrate and inadvertently breaks her back in two places because the fucking pit for the foam wasn't deep enough wasn't probably small enough because they could probably get away with it if it was just smaller and just, just densely packed it in but it wasn't deep enough and it wasn't and it, and it has, didn't have enough foam in it to take her fall it's fucking nuts you know what i can't understand and i think people that have probably fallen over more who are maybe in the physical fucking therapy field legitimately on my life like i can't understand how <laughs> You're a fucking cunt. I just saw the comment now. Ted, you back shots new meaning. Legitimately, on my life, right? On my life, on my life, on my life. I cannot understand how jumping from that relatively small height would break your back in two places. The body is a fucking weird, isn't it? Right? The body is fucking weird. Like, look how it, it, it didn't, because even if the pit isn't too, again, the pit obviously isn't deep enough. We can see that, right? From this angle here, that's the pit length, right? That's the pit depth, depth as it, right? From there, that white bit there, we can see that's the pit depth. So it's not that high. It maybe is what, a couple of cube sizes in terms of depth wise. But you still think even with that, that amount of, you know, with that less amount of fucking foam cubes in there, it should be enough to take a fall, isn't it? Don't you think so? But it doesn't. Just that one jump broke it. Oh my god! Big Big And she and it looked like, if I'm not mistaken, that she landed way more on her coccyx or like you know the the base of her bum or whatever it may be than her actual backpack. Do you know what I mean? It's quite crazy, man. Like what the body can, what the body was, and again her face when she gets up there, you can tell that pain, man. Because I know I've tweaked my back before. Um, when I was went to the gym, I think when you know, when I was de I was deadlifting. I think this happened just after the pandemic. I think everyone did the same thing, right? You in the pandemic, I think, or well, most people did. Um, I know party next door fucking did. Um, you know, everyone got fucking fat because everyone was stuck indoors and there was no gyms open and stuff. And I remember the first time I got, I went to gym, I actually put on a few pounds. So I was obviously carrying weight on me and I hadn't done any gym work. I hadn't even done the press up, a sit up and nothing. So I went to the gym and I tried to pick up the same let weight 
that I was picking up before the lockdown. So I went to go deadlift and I guess I didn't brace myself properly because usually I, I brace, I do the right things, have my back flat, you know, all the good stuff. Sometimes you put on a belt to help you with your fucking posture. And then I guess I did it and I was, my back was rounded and I pulled and the pain in my spine was crazy. I thought I broke my back, but I didn't. It's just like I pulled one of the muscles on either side, I think, somewhere around there, around the back. I forgot which one it was. And it just tweaked my entire back and I couldn't walk properly. It was really, really painful. So I can only imagine, I can only imagine if my, if I had such pain with a fucking muscle sprain, imagine what it must be from fucking fracturing your spine and shit. Like, ouch. I can only imagine that pain. I really can only imagine that pain. My mind was just a sprain from fucking not warming up properly, not really, you know, setting myself up properly on the fucking deadlift. Just imagine her doing that. Oh, God. Like, I can't imagine, bro. I can't imagine. She legitimately broke her back. And I think it's an article I have here, actually, that she kind of speaks about it, actually, on here, on BuzzFeed. Um, streamer and add up. Oh, she's add up. Oh, that's why you guys are saying break her back. She's a porn star, you mean? Okay, cool. This makes a lot of sense. Um, adult performer Adriana Chechik says she broke her back in foam pit at TwitchCon. God damn it. Adriana Chechik, a popular Twitch performer and adult performer, says she broke her back leaping into a foam pit. She said, well, I broke my back in two places and I'm getting surgery to put a metal rod in my for support today. <gasps> a meter a meter rod not metal a meter rod sorry for metal um send your support what does she mean send your support does she mean send the tips and donations does she mean subscribe to only <laughs> i'm joking check check wrote on the twitter account earlier today she said when it rains it pours and i'm definitely feeling the rain right now do you think she's gonna sue twitch what do you think do you think she'll sue or she just like oh wow she won an award for the best oral sex scene okay cool um <laughs> A video of the moment that was captured on a live stream then shared on Reddit and official media showed the end of the foam sword fight between Chechnik and a person who later identified themselves as a gamer streamer, Eddie Bot. Um, Eddie Bot falls into the pit. Chechnik celebrates by jumping into the pit off a small podium, doing splits and landing on the tailbone. She immediately arrives in pain, tries to exit and then collapses into the foam. Oh, I can't imagine. I'm just feeling it now. I cannot imagine how much that must have hurt. Fucking hell. Work compensation claim, yeah, Exa Sharma saying, hope she sues. She has to sue, innit? She's got to sue. Fuck me. Twitch are diabolical, innit? They make all these exceptions for these fucking, what they call them? These, um, what they call them? They, they did the kiddie pool streamers and stuff. They ban people without giving them explanation. Just horrible, right? So, like, very, very much a politically motivated kind of platform in terms of their ideology and how they do stuff. So, very hard to kind of get away with certain things on there cool that's all fair and well you know what i mean you're, you're allowed to do what you want it's your company but the health and safety of your streamers should be paramount of these type of things right fair enough if you ban me because i said a racy word or i made a racy joke or i have my views that you don't agree with politically that's one thing because it's your platform but my health and safety should be your number one priority when i'm out and about at your fucking events come on for fuck's sake like jesus christ this. plus as well the risk involved or the the consequences involved are quite bleak because if somebody gets injured at your event and they sue that could legitimately risk putting your company under do you know what i mean anyway continue. eddie for the the probably the most painful thing i've seen in a while says jack lucky let's continue what else are people saying here god okay reactions from other streamers uh what people are saying here the phone pit was organized by a computer maker lenovo and was put, oh my god lenovo on the hook for it oh my day she's gonna be able to switch she's gonna be able to switch gonna be able to to sue twitch and lenovo wow that bag is gonna be different she might not even come out to streaming again you know the phone people was by computer maker lenovo was part of their legion of lenovo booth at the convention our uh, users of the social media said that they had been injured in the same pit okay so other people said the same thing be careful on these things guys i'm currently in hospital with if i broke it jesus christ dislocated her knee jumping in there thinking it was a phone pit because i think i read in the comments somewhere Someone who makes foam pits or who designs them, who installs them, whatever, said in the comments, like, it's very surprised. You would be surprised how deep they need to be. Oh my God. <laughs> Uche, I let her son break my back in two places. <laughs> the first, bruv. Her son is like the, um, the female version of fucking Kalila, isn't it? In that kind of group, isn't it? Right? The girls love her sound like how the men love Kalila, innit? But they pretend they hate her and they make documentaries about her. That's what they do. Fucking idiots. 
you don't see no girl making a documentary about how evil her sign is, do you? You just see them first thing over his pictures. They don't waste their time. Whereas the guys, they 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 hide all their love for Kalila by making documentaries about her poetry that she wrote when she was fucking seventeen. But no, someone wrote, I remember seeing a comment about some phone pit guy wrote something along the lines of how phone pits require a lot of a lot more foam than you'd think they would, and they also need to be very deep if they're not very wide. They have to be very very deep, which is why they're usually quite high up or something. I forgot what they said, something weird. Um, but yeah, so it's do, do you find it interesting too that it's always girls that get injured injured in this sort of stuff? Don't you think so? Because I have this theory, because I remember before I said I, how I shared my love of this sadistic love I have where I like to watch videos of girls falling over because it's always funnier to watch because I feel like girls, for whatever reason, especially if you've grown up in a way more, I'd say, what, feminine household where maybe you don't have brothers and shit, you don't do a lot of rough and tumble, girls don't fall a lot. So when they do fall, they just somehow, for whatever reason, they don't brace and they just let gravity take them. So if they fall like this, they'll just fall on their face. They won't like try and protect their face or like roll over on their side. Like little things that you learn when you're a boy, when you play football and you rough and tumble, when you skateboard, whatever it may be. So it's always funny. So is there any coincidence that this film, however badly it was designed, the victim so far, we've just seen loads of girls. Like we've seen this lady who looked like she probably has never done a jumping jack. Another one. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just, it, it, there must be something in it. Or maybe there's other guys who have broken their backs, but they're just too manly to admit it, and they just all walked, or they just ran it off. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is that lady, right? That broke. That this is that the is that the one that's dislocated it? It's been over twenty. No, somebody else. It's been over forty eight hours, but I'm okay. I'm back home resting. Um, I want to thank all those who wish me luck. Your girl don't go down without a bang. I broke my ankle all three possible ways. Someone broke. So this lady dislocated her knee. This one broke her ankle. The other one broke her back. And when Buzzfeed News visited the phone pit on Sunday, it was closed. <laughs> of course it was. Uh, been open earlier in the day. The phone pit pieces felt somewhat squishy, but they were still rather f Oh, so they're saying the foam squares themselves were too firm. Okay. Uh, that's why now I get it. It's not the pit was too deep. The actual foam themselves weren't as soft as they looked. So what did they buy these foam squares from? Fucking Amazon. Like, oh my God. The BuzzFeed News estimated the pit was less than two feet deep. At Oh my God, two feet deep. So there's a hole in it. You're just hitting the floor anyway. Fucking hell, some kind of mat appeared to be underneath for the foam covering the <laughs> concrete floor. According to the one British manufacturer of foam pit, standard gymnastic pits should be at least six foot deep. So they have four feet missing with the base pit line firmly into a strip the shore, the, the firm. So yeah, six feet is about my height. So it'd be, it's a quite a deep thing. Um, but, but it continues. A volunteer at the Nova booth declined to identify himself, saying that he they're not authorized to speak to the media, but did say they have rules for the firm pit and they explained the rules. Okay, this fucking job's worth. A person who said they worked for the build of the booth and also declined to identify themselves. <laughs> Uh, we won't be adding any comment at this time. Yo, Lenovo, man, they're going to have to back up the Brinks truck for that girl, bro. Representative of Lenovo didn't immediately respond for comments, and while the Twitch spokesperson said that they had no comment on Sunday afternoon because they were trying to gather information, convention volunteer Umberto Perez, a volunteer, had the guts to speak up. A volunteer. God almighty. Told BuzzFeed that he had been near the pit on Saturday, so they just saw paramedics come by twice. <laughs> Only twice on, on the Saturday. Only twice. God almighty, Edgar. Edgar, another person. Jimenez said, another convention volunteer. See? Only the blacks, only the blacks and the browns, right, are, are willing to speak up on record. Humberto, volunteers, um, said that he witnessed Chesex's injury. Says she was just doing a regular gameplay, but unfortunately during her victory dance, she fell and landed where it was, where she was good for a good minute or so. Chechik has more than 3.8 million followers on Instagram. Wow. And over 800,000 on Twitch. She makes a good amount on Twitch, boy, where she streams herself playing games, making ASMR content, performing stunts. Okay, so she won them once. She was repeatedly being a nominee of Female Performer of the Year at Adult Convention. Da, 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 da. Oh my God, man. That's horrible. But yeah, big up, big up her. Hopefully she sues them to fuck it into oblivion. They deserve it anyway for the most part they seem like a terrible company to work for um to stream on and and again like forget all that stuff just take care of your fucking talent like jesus christ they're there i'd imagine most of the top streamers on there probably 
can say that they legitimately sell out tickets to get people to come to this event, right? People are legitimately cross, you know, tra traveling across the fucking country to go see these streamers, their favorite ones, you know, in, in the flesh, get autographs, hang out, whatever it may be. Just look after them. Do you know what I mean? Make sure they go back home safe to their family if you, if you, if you, if you could, mate. You know what I mean?